we are going to new york ladies and gentlemen yes that's right we are entering uh we are going into newark and uh we'll be in new jersey staying at a hotel hop skip and a jump from uh times square the short film festival that we've been accepted or nominated uh at is called Autumn's Dawn, and it's in Brooklyn, New York. And of course, my wife and I are very excited to go. Before COVID, my wife and I were big. I mean, because where we are, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, it's people forget it's very close to New York. I think by drive, it's like eight, nine hour drive. And this time, we are just so excited. We've done the drive, we don't care anymore. So we're just gonna fly. The flight is like from Toronto International uh, Pearson Airport is like an hour and a half to Newark. So yeah, so we're very, very excited. We're gonna fly in and uh, we're gonna be there for four, four nights and uh, the first night. So it is now, what time is it now? It is 11.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, so at 4 a.m., I'm so excited. I don't even know if I'm going to get any sleep because I'm just stoked. So we're going to get there and then uh, we're going to probably just spend some time in Jersey. And uh, and then I guess check in is it around probably two or three o'clock and uh, at the Howard Johnson there. And, uh, and then we will go into Times Square where uh, my wife decided to be nice to me and uh let me pick the broadway show that we're going to this time which is um what uh, back to the future uh back to the future musical on broadway it's a broadway not an off broadway and uh yeah i'm very excited for that i mean before covid m my wife and i went there all the time so this is the actual first time that we've been to new york the greatest city in the world and i'm loving it um i can't wait i'm excited now and and i can't, <laughs> I can't believe when i was single i didn't plan anything just trip to europe you just get on a plane and go right well like this book is filled with my wife and i planning our itinerary <laughs> Of like tickets uh you know the only thing we don't have planned is we got to use the the american version lyft uh canadian version would be uber and uh to get from the airport to uh our hotel that's the only thing that we don't have planned but i'm sure we can hail a cab so anyway it's a little it's a little weird because I'm not used to this kind of planning. It's like we're planning for spontaneity. It just, it's not the way, it's not the way, it's the way I do things now in marriage. So it's pretty awesome. And I got the itinerary. Um, I got the itinerary. So Friday night, we are going to, as I said, Back to the Future, Broadway musical. I looked at the trailer. It looks really awesome. Like, the the props and everything looks really awesome at first i thought it was going to be cheesy but like it's it looks amazing so i'll i'll get back to you i'll report back to you on that i'm sure it's going to be amazing though and then saturday and sunday um the doors open for the uh film festival autumn's dawn film festival they open at three o'clock and then there's and i guess they're all short films so they're all sort of allotted out for about from three till five is we're going to watch uh, all the short films so some of them are probably really short and what's that one um one two three four five six seven eight nine 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 shows on saturday will take up to two hours and then i guess yeah the second the sunday um there's going to be there's going to be 10. So there's 19 contestants that have been accepted or nominated. And there is, oh, there's six awards. I don't think we have a chance for some of the awards, but there, I would say we have chance for about, I think we're, I won't tell you which ones, but I think we're, we've got a good chance for um, three of them. But let me, uh, let me look, let me tell you what, I think I've got them. Of course, I've got them written down. I'm so organized nowadays. Yes. Okay, so the six awards that we are contesting for is best film is called, this is the one I want to win, best film of the 19 would be 
the big kahuna. So, so you know I want to win the big kahuna, right? And then best cinematography uh, that for those that point the camera real good. And then the third one is best editing for those that can best channel their inner uh, Ed, Edgar Wright. Um, and then the fourth one is best use of sound for those that make the sound sound more soundy. <laughs> this is what they wrote. This is not me. And then uh, I guess we're on number five, uh, the best cast. Um, and actually, I will say, I will say we have a chance with that. We do have a chance with that. We had some phenomenal actors. Um, and uh, uh, one, one day I'll put the link up after we're finished all the uh, short film festival circuit. I'm sure I'll be able to give you guys the, uh, the link to where you can see it. Uh, so I don't want to give anything away. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to give give too much away. So the best actors, I think we have a, a chance to win that. Yes. Um, yeah. Heath, Molly. Yes. Um, most creative concept. Those who decided to go the extra mile for doing something interesting. So my guess is we've got a chance at th a really good chance at three of those. And my top pick would be uh, the best actors for sure. We've got a good chance at that. Um, so enough, <laughs> enough said there. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Whoa. So as you can tell, I'm very, very excited. I'm ready to go. I don't know if you guys have seen a Canadian passport. This is what a Canadian passport looks like. So my wife and I are got our passports and everything. We've got American money. And of course, I carry my passports in. I'm giving a shout out and props to 222. You know who? Yep, that's the real deal. That's the original. What do you call those gifts that they give the cast and crew at the end of filming? That's what this was. I just, it escapes me. It escapes me what you call that. So that's the real deal. So just giving it a shout out, 222. You know who? And uh, yeah. There you go. I'm going with God and going with 222, and I'm very excited, very, very excited. The only thing I would say about um, New York is Toronto is really good for um, a lot of things, and I've always believed that Toronto was one of the best multicultural cities and one of the best things about living in an amazing multicultural city was the food. You can get food from around the world. And, uh, you know, pick pick a country, pick an ethnicity. You could get the best of the best in Toronto. There's Little Italy. There's Little Chinatown. Like every, every, everything. There's everything. Portuguese. Every, you name it. You can think about it. You can find it in Toronto. When I go to New York, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had good, um, those 99-cent pepperoni slice pizzas. That's awesome. I've had, you know, the Jew, the, the, all the food trucks are awesome. The juice bar food trucks, the shawarmas, the falafels, the, the, um, the, the breakfast carts, like a croissant, cheese and egg and all that. And it's like at, at one time, it wasn't even that expensive. It was like five fifty. No, I don't even think it was that expensive. Like it, sometimes it was like four bucks and you could get like a really amazing breakfast. So a lot of the food court, co uh, food carts and and trucks were are really amazing but whenever i've gone to a restaurant in new york i guess because i'm not a local i don't know what they are but we tried and it was just like are you kidding me this this doesn't taste authentic or or you know or you end up just going to applebee's because you're not sure and applebee's you know i can cook better at Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> shouldn't say that. But you know what I mean? Like, I just, I can't, it's, it's just not a food town. Now, your comedy clubs, your jazz, your all that kind of stuff, it, it's the best in the world. But I need to find a good New Yorker that can show me the restaurants of where to eat at in New York. Cause I just, I've been so disappointed, but so other than that, I'm very excited to go to New York and I'm just, I'm, I'm really thankful to a lot of you guys. I feel that um, you're supporting me all. I'm reading all the comments, both public comments and private comments. And, and I think it's great. I think that, it's restoring my faith in humanity that people can be happy for someone else's, you know, minor successes. It's a little victory and you guys are all so happy for us and, and saying some kind things, which 
I haven't heard in a long time. So I'm, 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 I'm grateful, which is why I'm kind of doing this video and sharing with you guys, because I've just felt this outpouring of just kindness and generosity and well-wishing, which, you know, we, we haven't seen a lot of, we haven't seen a lot of lately, but I'm glad we're seeing it now. And, uh, and I'm cheering a lot of you guys on. There's a lot of different people that are trying to create opportunities for themselves as well. And I'm, I'm paying attention. Believe me. I want you to know I'm paying attention and, um, this is not, this is just the beginning for me. Uh, we're working on a second project. And as you know, I created a little video saying I uh, had a preliminary meeting um, for a perspective, uh, a prospect for a, a potential project, a potential film project. Actually, I can tell you it's a feature film. And I'm also working on um, another short film with, um, I've shown you in some of my videos, you've seen a picture of him. You might not know who he is yet, but his name is Brian Perks. And uh, he literally w is my longest standing friend. How long? I was in the crib with <laughs> I, was, I was literally in the crib with him. That's how long I've, as long as I've been breathing oxygen, I have known him. And uh, it, it's actually, and for many years we were disconnected, but it wasn't disconnect because of any falling out. It's just, he went one way and I went another. And thank God for, for social media in that regard, social media and Facebook is really good that you can track people down from, from your lives. And, and, and uh, it's awesome. So I'm doing a project with him, him and I sat down and it was mostly his idea. He just wasn't as familiar with, um, uh, writing the writing, proper screenplay format. So I was able to help him with that. And uh, I think it's an awesome project. And him and I are going to do a co-production deal. And uh, we've already, we are, we are currently looking for um, letters of intent from some bankable uh, actors, bankable names and actors. And um, we've raised a lot of the money. It's just going to be a micro budget, which is more than Chuck was. It's going to be, it's going to be, I would say it's going to be, well, I think the definition, SAG's definition of uh, a micro budget, um, and we will do the proper, this doesn't count for the, the, the strike. Um, we're going to do a micro budget for 20 thousand and we've raised a lot of that already so yeah so things are exciting and we know that um that the end of the you know we're hearing good news for the writers strike and we're hearing good news for the actors strike so um we've we have stood in support and we continue to stand in support and we will not do anything we will not do anything until all those contracts are settled for both the feature film I and mean, we could do the short but I, I don't think we'll be even be doing the even the micro budget would which wouldn't really apply but we just don't because it's a sensitive subject we would wait till after the strike anyway so yeah so we're 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 excited for the potential of the strike coming to an end and a, a fair deal being made for all and uh and life can resume back to normal for us and uh and i'm looking forward to it so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a shout out thanks for all the support and uh yeah, I'm very excited to go to New York. My wife is stoked too. She nor normally doesn't get into the stuff that I do, but um, she wants to show her support. And of course, since it's in New York, she's very happy to go. But she is. She is happy to to go to the actual film festival and see all the different movies. And she's, yeah, she's excited about that too. And hopefully, she's hoping for uh, maybe a second Broadway show while we're then, we're going to be there four days. So she will, she probably will try and squeeze in like, um, probably another Broadway. And if we can make it into, uh, to, uh, Greenwich village or cafe wa for a music night, we will, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Cafe was our, look it up. It's cafe was our favorite place in New York and the music's always fantastic. And it's just a very historical building back from the beatnik days and the hippies. But anyway, I, I, I'm going on. I just wanted to say a quick, you know, 
<laughs> I just wanted to say a quick sort of thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It's good to see a lot of positivity and support and love. And I give it right back to you guys. And thank you. Thank you very much. And take care. And may God bless. Love you guys. All right. See ya. Night. I'm, I'm leaving in five hours. Good night, guys. Smooth lover come over, kicking shit down, releasing stress as I hold ya. No knocks, no stops, shit don't come to my door. I'm up in the scene at home, that ain't what home is for. And you know that right. Come city night is what the players live for. Lace up the boots, hit the door, hit the street. Greedy when I get there by a bunch of my peeps. Calm city night is my young to keep, man. Calm city night is my young to keep. Living life as a genius. chugging like an old choo-choo train and taking it on the next track. How about... <laughs>